is trapped in a dating sim? The world of Otome games is tough for mobs worth watching? Is this generic isekai trash, or does its unique main character make it something more? Find out if this is a show for you, and what parts of it are good and bad in this, mostly, spoiler-free video. Trapped in a dating sim, the world of Otome games is tough for mobs, has a pretty classic start for video game isekai. Guy spends way too much time playing a game, and then gets put into the world. But this one has a twist. He hates the game. Being manipulated to play it, our main character spends hours and hours beating the extremely hard game that was a little too ambitious with its genre. First, I have to talk about this anime as an isekai. The show actually uses its isekai premise really well. Instead of just harem power fantasy, I bet you wish your life was like this, it takes a main character and makes him not super OP, except for him knowing every secret in the game world. With all this knowledge, he could easily become the most powerful person in the world, but he only uses it to solve his biggest problems. This is not a cliche isekai, even though it includes a lot of the classic tropes, like him having a bunch of female friends, aka possible love interests, that he is oblivious to, and having some way to cheese the game to get OP. It even has the school setting. The thing that makes it stand out from most other isekai is its protagonist. This guy, this average looking super negative derp, is, well, I don't know if I could call him one of the best protagonists, but easily one of the funnest ones to watch. His entire goal is just to be left alone and live a normal life as a background character, but of course, the story has to force him to step up, and he does in a really big moment for a girl he barely knows. So what was his reasoning for doing so? He freaking hates the main characters from the game that he played for so long, and wants to spite them for being pretentious and stuck up. This guy is such a trip, and the more you watch the show, the more likable he becomes. Imagine Kazuma from Konosuba, but more vindictive, less perverted, and in a slightly more serious setting. The protagonist makes this show, which is very refreshing in the world of cookie cutter main characters that anime tends to have. Apart from our main character, the supporting cast is decent, with some some likable and hateable characters that fill their roles well. Overall, the show is well written and really fun. The world building is interesting, the society concepts which mostly seem like a joke at first actually play out very well in a realistic way, which I was not expecting. And there's a few mysteries set up, but overall this is much more about our main character than its plot, which isn't a bad thing at all. Now I've praised the show a lot. It's not the best this season, but it's different and it's fun. But there is one really big obvious problem that has to be addressed before recommending this to anyone. Unfortunately, this is the most apparent thing from the very start. The animation and generally the overall production of this show is atrocious. And trust me, I know lackluster production. The animation is the most apparent as being low quality, but there's also awkward music transitions. <laughs> the music itself just being okay, and the overall character designs being very bland. There is a part of it that's purposeful from being in a dating sim, but most of it does not feel purposeful. It's a shame that this gets worse animation quality over other more generic shows. It's not unwatchable, but it does detract from it a lot. Unfortunately, that's its biggest fault, despite giving us 2D mechs and some surprisingly sweet moments. Impact. But even then, you can see the cut corners when it came to the production. Lastly, for being in a dating sim, Trapped in a Dating Sim has very small amount of fan service so far. I've been mentioning this in all my reviews, so I figured I would mention it here too. So, in conclusion, is Trapped in a Dating Sim the world of Otome games as tough for mobs worth watching? If you can get past the animation, yes. The story is good with a main character that carries the show. I'd say the more you are into weeb culture with understanding Otome games and different tropes it comments on, the more likely you are to enjoy the show. If you like isekai trash, this is the perfect isekai trash for you. Hope you enjoyed the video, go watch my other reviews or Demon Slayer Explained Badly 7 so I can make part 8. I'm Weez, that's all for me. Jamiao!